It's lovely this time of year, especially if you're the Gophers. An extended stay, I guess, also, as the Gophers come out and punch Louisville right in the mouth and in turn punch their ticket to the round of 32. It's only the school's second NCAA tournament win since 1997, so it's no wonder slapping Minnesota on that bracket after the game felt so good. We feel good. Um, you know, coming into this game, everybody was talking about Louisville and uh, how good they are. And you know, obviously we were the underdog in this game, so uh, just to come out with the win uh, means a lot. Definitely had a uh, nasty taste in our mouth from last time. So you know, credit to the guys you know who have been here. Um, and it's all about composure, you know, um, experience and those type of things. And and we definitely showed that. Being underdogs was fine for the Gophers, who played loose as if they'd been here before, which many of them had not. Being able to play on a big stage like this, especially being a hometown kid from Minnesota and getting a win for the home stay is really amazing. I felt like it was confidence uh, um, throughout the whole game. Um, I mean, I've been here um, through like state championships. I've been for De La Salle, so I mean, I've been in like key moments like this. So I just, I just don't really let those nerves and just affect me at all. So I just play it cool and just play through it. Kalsher is the story. The freshman can't be stopped. Two dozen points, an unlikely leader in the team's most important game of the season. Gabe, Gabe had a great game from behind the arc, so uh, cheers to him. Um, you know, he had some really good plays and, and kept us kept us the lead. Yeah, I think after Gabe and Dupree and Amir saw um, saw their threes go in, I think that's when it got rolling, and I think that's when our guys started getting a lot more confident, especially when we saw Daniel being physical with their center and scoring a little bit. I think that's when a lot of our guys got confident. In the other game of today's session, it was the Michigan State Spartans fending off a pesky Bradley Braves team. The 15 seed gave them some fits, but that sets up a Saturday showdown now between two Big Ten teams, the Gophers and the Spartans. By the way, they played earlier this season, a little over a month ago in East Lansing, where the Spartans ended up winning that game by 24 points.